Hey guys, we are going to see how can you search in Google using Python. Let me run the code and type some search keyword and I'm going to hit on enter. You can see immediately it has opened Google Chrome and then searched for Python. So how this can be designed we are going to see in this video. So the very first thing I'm going to do is import web browser. And I'm going to ask the user to provide some input. I'm going to say input and I'm saying enter a search string. Okay, done. The moment the user enters, then we have to take this input and put in the Google. But remember, you cannot do that because when you search something in Google, for example, here I'm searching automate with Rakesh. This is my channel name. In case you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. So what happens here, let me copy this URL until the search term. And I'm going to paste it here. So what is happening? This part remains constant. And the word that you have typed, right? The word that you have typed, automate, then it, there is a plus sign, then with there is a plus, after that there is a plus sign, then there is a racket. So anything that you are you generally search, would appear like this. For example, I am going to say learn Python. And the moment I do this, even here if you see how it is coming, okay, and I will again copy this. This is how the Google search is made. So this part until here, it remains constant. And after that, whatever you have typed, it is giving a plus sign between the words. So the same concept that we have to take it here. The moment user has entered something what i will do i will say b equals to and i'm going to use a dot split so there is a split method now here you can split using a comma but we will not provide anything that means if user is typing automate with rakesh so the space will be considered as a split so what will be the output of this let's see it for example i'm going to say print b save and f5 so the output that we will get, for example, my search criteria is automate with Rakesh is my search criteria. So it is going to split the entire word in three different words, automate, with and Rakesh. The sentence has been divided into three different parts. Now what I will do, I need this plus sign. I need to include the plus sign. Now to get the plus sign, it is quite simple. I will use a plus sign dot join method what i'm saying join and i'm going to put everything within the parenthesis getting it so the output of a dot split was automate and then with in the case three words it is going to join each of these words with the plus sign just by writing this code so let's see the output for example i'm typing automate uh, with Rakesh. So what is the output we have got? Automate with Rakesh. Clear? Now things should be very clear now how to get this. So let me construct something. Okay, I'll say C equals to, I'm going to copy this constant URL, which is this. And I'm going to create a variable called URL. And I'm going to say C plus B. That means I'm adding this and this output together. So let's see the output, how it looks first of all. Print URL, save. So for example, if I'm typing automate with Rakesh. So what is the final URL we have got? This one. Now we have to open it in the default browser, let's say. Now to open it in the browser, all I have to do, I'll simply say, Take the name of the module which is web browser dot so you have got multiple different uh, methods available like open new open in new tab and all that so i'm going to use open new and simply pass the url variable done now if i'm going to save it and do a f5 what's going to happen whatever i'm going to search doesn't matter for example i'm saying let's start with automate with rakesh the moment I had did a search, you can see it is searching for that. Let's do one once again. 
and this time let's search a single word okay python now when you are doing a single word it cannot split so the only word would remain is python you can see python has come getting it so it is work, working perfectly fine we can make a lot of enhancements to the code but again this is how in general you, you will be able to open and do a search in google so thank you guys for watching if this video is helpful please give it a like and please do subscribe to the channel Thank you.